Nie and Metzogoyen, I'm this, what's your name? Alice. And? I'm Mary. Yeah, and you're two sisters? Yes, we are. And first time here? For me, this is my first. And for you? And second time. Second time. Yeah. And how is now the experience being here? It's been glorious. Like, I, the Lord has spoken to me. Yeah. Um, after dinner, we saw the sun rotating and spinning and pulsing. Mm -hmm. And um, Mass has been wonderful every day. Yeah. And, um, and for you, why do you come back? Um, because I just love it here. The first time I came, I, I was thinking, how could I live there? Mm -hmm. You know, just because it's just so beautiful. And the peace that you feel when you're here, mm -hmm. you know, and just how you feel like you're a family mm -hmm. the minute you show up, you know, mm -hmm. and everyone knows everybody. I, um, did, the first time I came here, mm -hmm. I wanted to go, mm -hmm. and I had already planned a trip to go to Mississippi, and then I came out of church, and I had a friend that told me, oh, they're getting ready to go to Medjugorje soon, and I'm thinking, soon, a month, maybe a two months? Mm -hmm. No, like three weeks. <laughs> and so I went on the website, I went and checked it out, mm -hmm. and it said it was full. Yeah. But I'm like, I I'll get put on a waiting list. I'm like, I'll, I filled it all out, I sent it off, I said, if God wants me here, he'll make it happen. Within the next day, yeah. literally, check my email, mm -hmm. and I was able to go. So it happened so quickly, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to come here. So obviously Mary wanted me here, yeah. you know, so... And what is the experience for you here? What is Medjugorje for you? For me, it's just growing closer to the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. Mary's always pointing us to Jesus, right? Yeah. So you come here and that's the message, mm -hmm. you know? Just love my son. And if if we all knew, mm -hmm. you know, how much Jesus loved us, we, we would really, we would just be crying because yes. he loves us that much, you know? Just, and just to come here, experience yeah. it, mm -hmm. and then go home to mm -hmm. share it because mm -hmm. Medjugorje is here. Mm -hmm but the message is to go out and spread yeah. the message of peace, right? Mm -hmm. And so I... I um, Caught your sister. You yes, you and then so, sister. yes, you have to go. And then I talked to Janet, uh -huh. and she's like, we're going again, Mary, mm -hmm. Mary. And I'm like, oh, I would love to go, mm -hmm. you know? And I just I put it in prayer, mm -hmm. and, and here I am, you know? And I shared with my sister, there's another trip going, so she wanted to go i had t shared it with her so she's like let's go so we're together and experience it as sisters which is pretty pretty cool um i i uh have told her a few things about it but i kind of she's having her own experience here and growing closer to god mm -hmm. and being able to go to confession because they they say Medjugorje is the confessional of the world and it's so true and you just see so many people um, wanting to be closer to God here, mm -hmm. you know, and our gui our guards, our guides that we have through the 206 tours, mm -hmm. they are just so wonderful. They know yes. so much history yes. about this place, and you yep. learn so much, and what these people have gone through, mm -hmm. and the love for the Lord that has kept them, you know, intact, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and they're so um, grounded and rooted in family, and mm -hmm. that's the beautiful thing. Because we are all called to be a family. We're all one big family. So if there's anything we can take from this, mm -hmm. is that we are all one family living on this earth together, and yes. we need to spread peace. You know? So beautiful so. what you say. And you said Medjugorje is the confessional of the world. Mm -hmm. What would you tell people? Why not to be scared to d go to a confession? They think it's for the Middle Ages. You have to go in that dark room, and there's the fence and the priest behind it. And well, scary, but it's not. What is it's, it? Can you explain? It's not because the priests are here. Yeah. They're here because they love Jesus, they love Mary, mm -hmm. and they want us to get to heaven. You know, they want us. So they're out there listening to confessions, and there's nothing that you can do that God isn't willing to forgive you. And you think about all the confessions they hear all throughout, you know, mm -hmm. um, the, their time here, mm -hmm. and my sins anybody sends I'm sure they've heard everything so not to be afraid and when you walk away to know that your sins are in the past just go forward you know 
And that's a beautiful thing when you walk over and you're in the state of grace. And you, you know? feel light and free. You, you do, you do. You yes. feel so good. Yes. You know, and then being able to receive c communion in yes. the state of grace yes. because that is so important because yes. that is Jesus. Yes. It's Jesus that we we um, encounter at the Mass all the time. The and the Mass is all the time just going, you know. It's mm -hmm. the, the highest form of prayer, right? So it's just, it's very beautiful. Wow. You know? And for you, confession now. You have to been here in Medjugorje to confess? I did. It, I felt at peace yeah. once I did it. And um, I, to when I received communion, mm -hmm. I felt closer to God and um, it was very joyous for me. Um, yeah. And how was it for you when you saw the sun spinning, pulsating? People, oh. they don't believe it, we try to catch it with the camera, but I, I, I ask people then in that moment, because it's, you can't catch it on the camera, can you describe a bit how, the, how it was for you? And it was just amazing. It was almost like the uh, the eclipse that we just had in Vermont, like seeing the when the moon went over the sun and you see the little wisp. It was just like that, and it was just pulsing, and it was like it was speaking to me. And just being able to look at the sun, yeah, you know, yeah, and being yes. able to do that, yeah, and. Um, I was going to say something else, but my mind... How is for you the rosary prayer? you pray the rosary? Yes, I do. Why, why do you pray? Um, to heal, to stop wars, to stop, to get more priests in, to um, try to get my family closer to God, mm -hmm. um, to heal. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful to say. And for you, the rosary prayer? Oh, yeah. I do pray the rosary in, and, and praying the rosary, you're praying for other people, mm -hmm. for yourself. Mm -hmm. But at back home, we have the Flame of Love rosary that we do. We have a cynical that meets. Can you explain? That's very important, the Flame of Love rosary. Yeah, the Flame of Love being Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, and the unity prayer that blinds Satan. And, and um, so we meet, we're the oldest cynical right now, which... You know, it's it's fairly new rosary, mm -hmm. yeah. and I understand that um, it's just been accepted to Rome. The Vatican has accepted it as a, an official rosary to pray, mm -hmm. um, and we've been going strong for years. Yeah. So, and the flame of love, God's love. You know, it's yes. it's about love. Yes. We need yes. to love one another, and so praying the rosary, mm -hmm. walking. Christ's life, right? Because isn't that the rosary is where we're uh, meditating on Christ's life. And the joyful mysteries are so beautiful because it all starts with the Annunciation. Mm -hmm. You know, Mary saying yes. So when I think about that, when I'm meditating on it, mm -hmm. I think about Mary, you know, and her yes. Because we all should be saying yes, right? And if she hadn't said yes, we mm -hmm. would be in trouble, right? So I just think about how much she loved God to say yes, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just the joyful mystery is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. you know? And can you explain how did you experience God's love? A lot of people, they don't experience it. For me, it took a long time, only like a month ago, that I really understood the identity that I'm a loved child of God. You know, how, how did you feel that, that you are loved by God? And how can people feel that? Um, well, that's, it's kind of a personal thing, right? Yeah, so yeah. I, um, I just, I, it's your heart. You, you just feel it in your heart, you know, um, his love. I've had a lot of experiences mm -hmm. in my life that I feel like God has always had his hand on me, mm -hmm. you know, even when I have strayed and, and he's, he's always bringing me back. He's always putting people in my life you mm -hmm. know and the thing about our faith and mm -hmm. love is you need to surround yourself with people yeah. that love God you know and you grow in your faith and you encourage each other that's what we need you know so we really need to have the encouragement and mm -hmm. I feel like going back to the rosary you're with people mm -hmm. you're praying together mm -hmm. you're lifting up all your intentions to the Lord and mm -hmm. he's there he's present mm -hmm. you know and he just um, just loves us so much yes. you know and how can so they have just, this? Yeah. Um, 
how do you explain it? I just, I had one time, I, I did go to a prayer group, and um, I had never been to a charismatic prayer group, and we, you know, you have a moment of silence, and you just close your eyes, and, and God came to me in that moment, and he had his arms wide open, standing in front of the tabernacle, and I saw this light coming off of him, and he just kept saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, you know, and so course you you stop and then you talk about what your experience was well it was my first time I wasn't going to share anything mm -hmm. and I I was prompted to you know Mary the lady next to me said something and the there was a lady there that does the charismatic prayer group who um, has the gift of discernment and mm -hmm. she said no she goes somebody else and I said all right I'll share what I just had my experience so I shared it with, um, and she said yes so the message is love, you know, and even if you don't, even if you just go somewhere quiet and just sit there and, and think about it, you know, God is just there ready to pour his heart out on you, you know, and I said to our, our tour group, but really, it just comes back to family. We're all family. And when you come here, you see how the Croatians just they, I feel like they really love each other, and that's because God is present here, yes. you know, so. You feel it too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you feel loved? Oh, I, I do feel loved. I was going to say earlier, because yeah. my mind was escaping me, but I came here yeah. not expecting to see your miracle, but I did. But it, I believe in God that I didn't have to expect that so it's it's been a blessing because we're, we're we're both cradle catholics yes, <laughs> you are so lovely yes. <laughs> and and how can you explain that identity how do you feel that you're so loved by god because he's forgiving like he forgives me for my sins um i've had dreams of him and it, and i feel at peace with him um, and I realize he did a lot for us to give up his life um, but I just feel like he's around me you, feel, you can feel it's a living God no? yes. who's interested in every aspect of our life yes you Chad not the angry old man with a white <laughs> beard who wants to touch us and put us to hell no. some people think that no? and oh how, yeah uh, they probably do, but come here and you'll experience it. Yes. Yes. You got a favorite spot here in Medjugorje? I liked Apparition Hill, um, and then today I climbed the White Cross. The, the Cross Mountain? All the yes, way up? Yes, yeah. It was very challenging, <laughs> <laughs> but I made it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, we got Thank the certificate for you. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's already printed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje one time? Um, that if you haven't been to confession, mm -hmm. it is very, don't be afraid. Um, it's, a very warm and welcoming place and you'll feel at home yes. Yes. and for you what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje? Um, I would come here just because of the love mm -hmm. you know the peace yeah. you know yes. I felt yes. great peace um, when I came here yeah. and it's worth the plane trip it really is it's worth it's like you're doing a little pilgrimage mm -hmm. and you're doing little sacrifices mm -hmm. you know while you get here mm -hmm. and it, it and it all matters you know like climbing cross mountain mm -hmm. you know um doing penance it's a form of penance right even getting here is a form of penance for you guys yes yeah, long way yeah, yeah. so here. but um it's just the whole place like you could say something is um full of energy but it's the energy that comes from God and yeah, that energy the Holy Spirit yeah 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 coming from the Holy Spirit right. yeah and yeah you feel like you're entering in a bubble you feel the same yeah you enter this place and you feel safe uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. uh, but we need to take it when we leave here and bring it out into the world yes. that's the most important and you message warrior sisters you can do that no yes. you have a favorite saint 
Saint, well, I love Saint Michael. Saint Michael. I love I Saint Michael. I saw Boria you are. Yeah, he is. Uh -huh. He's he's a fighter. So. He's a fighter. Yeah. And yeah. for you, favorite saint? Uh, I'll say Saint Michael also. So, yes. So two sisters fighters. Yes. And fa um, favorite Bible scripture? You got one? John 11. Yeah. I can't remember it. Just a sense of it. <sighs> that we need to make the steps to be ready for at the end of our life that so we can go to heaven yeah, that's all about what's all about no? yes this life is a glimpse yes and did you make the experience when you live in the tension thy will be done that you're much more peaceful and joyful living in the trying to live in the divine will yes yeah? yes for divine coincidences happening and that's flowing life yes yeah? same for you divine will if you are try to live in the intention thy will be done instead of my will right well going to um one of the father leon's talks mm -hmm. and he said and i want to say it's him i've been to a lot of talks so it gets a little confusing sometimes but mm -hmm. um it was pray for the doors to be shut that need to be shut and open the doors that need to be open so that you can do his will you know, listen to what he wants for you and mm -hmm. he will direct you and guide you where you need to be. Because so many times I think our struggles and we create so many problems in our lives is because we're doing what we want to do yes. and not where God wants us to be. So that's so important. Right, so it's a huge message, you know. So I kind of took that to heart because that's what I'm really trying to work on is listening to God and doing his will, not mine. So. And then this life gets smoother, simpler. No? Yeah. And at the end, why, why are you Catholic? What would you tell people? What is so beautiful about our Catholic faith? Um, well, at first, you're a cradle Catholic, so I think you don't appreciate it, you know, at first. You know, you just kind of go through the motions. Mm -hmm. You do these things. You go to Sunday Mass, and you're told you need to go. Mm -hmm. And um, as I've gotten older in my experiences in my life, mm -hmm. you know, I... I see my face so differently, you know, in my prayer life. My prayer life and being around people mm -hmm. that are prayerful, they encourage you and make you want to know why. Why are you so happy or why are you doing the things you're doing? And then you encourage each other. Mm -hmm. So what you're in a, it's a family. So the Catholic, yeah. Catholic Church is the big family. We're all a big family. And it is the church that Jesus found. Built. He founded. He wants us to be, you know. And we have all the sacraments, mm -hmm. all these beautiful sacraments that God gave us mm -hmm. to grow and keep our faith, mm -hmm. you know. And um, that's what keeps you happy—the sacraments. Yes. The yeah. Communal life. Yeah, and, and communion. Church. Communion. Yes. Yes. So beautiful. communion is so good, you know. And, Real uh, presence of Jesus. Yeah, and I presence. and I truly believe that, you Me know, too. that is Jesus. And you can feel it every time oh, you, yeah. you oh, yeah. receive the Eucharist. No? Yes. And for yes. you, a little promotion for the Catholic Church <laughs> and faith. Um, well, growing up, I was Catholic, and I, when I went to college, I kind of went astray, and um, and and it took me a while to get back. Mm -hmm. um, and now, well, I bet I'll be married 30 years in August. And, oh, wow! Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and. We, my husband and I, we've been going to church a lot more, and by this experience here, um, I want to take it further and ex and let them know what I've experienced, mm -hmm. so that they'll become closer to God, and my children and my grandchild. So. And you know, a lot of people are struggling with marriage. What is the secret for you? How can you be 30 years together, two people, two egos? two different ways of living and coming together? Well, we're opposites attract. <laughs> um, All right. <laughs> well, um, I guess understanding each other and knowing that, you know, I'm not perfect, he's not perfect. Um, you know, we've had our rough times, but we've always worked them out. Mm -hmm. um, I guess lis listening, well, I'm trying to listen more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think with God in my life, 
um, I think it will, will, well, experiencing what I experience here that I can be a better listener um, mm -hmm. and just the love. I, because we, yes. we went, and, <laughs> well, we went and listened to um, Pat, Patrick and Nancy, and yeah. they share their life yeah. experience, which I won't go into, but mm -hmm. they talked about the love that they, they experienced once they did their, you know, yes to God, you mm -hmm. know, they had their marriage blessed, they did everything the right way, but their, their love completely changed. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a selfish love. You know, my dad yeah. always said the most important thing you can do is to get to pe people mm -hmm. to heaven and your spouse to heaven. Yeah. Right. So you're working on getting each other to heaven is the most important. So you bring out the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think a lot of people today are yeah. working on the other, you know, and um, to change them or something. <clears throat> well, it's just, you know, your job is to get people to heaven. Mm -hmm. And so many people struggle with. Um, How do you do that? Now? Can you explain? Well, just that the genuine love, the love, the un it's true love isn't selfish, right? So when you're not thinking of yourself and you're giving to the other, mm -hmm. you're always going to get it back, you know. And God will never be outdone, yeah. right? Because I've experienced that too. You mm -hmm. know, you go and you do something for somebody. You, you're, you're generous, generous, you know, people so afraid to give themselves because they think they're going to lose a part of themselves, but they're always going to get in return because God will never be outdone, you know, and, and, and everything, generosity, love, you know, so, but the story with Patrick and Nancy is beautiful, you know, and just to come here and listen to all the testimonies, there's so many people walking around like, you know, us and, you know, um, the people that live here that have beautiful testimonies and listening to all the miracles and their experiences mm -hmm. um, while they they're here and they live here yeah. so it's just wow well, what can I say thank you for this beautiful <laughs> interview to this beautiful two sisters from America <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you thank you